Sabbath good? Equals Black Sabbath. Or <laughs> <laughs> divided? Or no? I think, I'm, I'm I think, just I think chiming it's in. Metallica minus Nirvana equal. I think it's like a reduction. Exactly, it's backwards, right? Because it's you know like Sabbath have way less excessive like mm. Metallica, or musically speaking. True, but that's all I've got to say about that. <laughs> no, it's very important, actually. It is important. They're important bands. This, <laughs> this is actually called. This is actually for a show called Made of Things. So we're starting on that. So were any of those bands uh, pivotal in your wanting to do all, music? All of them. Well, Nirvana for for me was the reason I started playing music. Uh -huh. So that's pretty pivotal. Yeah. Um, And then the other two are just, you know, things that that, that you, you pick up really early on when you, especially if you, yeah. guitar, guitar is your yeah. first instrument. You have to. They're pretty important bands because they kind of just teach you how to, how to noodle. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm sure these guys will say something pretty similar uh -huh. about. Well, what got you into being the idea of, of I, I want to do music forever, really? Um... Well, obviously, a lot of lot of music like that you know, like, like lots of ha lots of household names, you know, like oh, sure. obviously a lot of guitar music, and but even things like you know Michael Jackson and all that sort of stuff. But probably ultimately, my biggest inspiration would have been my dad because he was a musician. Uh -huh. So um, not of any particular note, but like he played guitar a lot around the house. Mm -hmm. so, so that was what I wanted to do. Well, that's note enough for you. Yeah, yeah. totally. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. What about you, Jana? Uh, sorry, what's the question? Oh uh, no, this is because uh, this is based on the assumption that you s dedicated yourselves to music. You know, because dedicating yourself to art or any art is this is uh, has its uh, has its uh, it's an endeavor and it has a lot of uh, uh, it takes a lot of effort. And uh, so to get through the bad times, you kind of need a lot of a, motiv a lot of motiv motivation. And so where did you get that from initially? Like, oh, I I just saw something or watch something or, or, or listen to something uh, I want to do that forever yeah it's a um, huge question it was basically yeah. it's basically what what triggered you into the music really uh, what did you do the music I mean it, yeah it's a, it's it's a compounding of loads of different things but you know like similar to Jack yeah you know first time hearing Nirvana was like You know that that was like really exciting. It was like a departure from the music that my parents listened to. Mm -hmm. and they hated it, oh. but my brother and I loved it. Uh -huh. So it was like, you know, there was like this this clear line in the sand at that moment. Um, and then my brother, my brother's probably a big inspiration as well. You know, he taught me how to play like the first couple of Nirvana songs, mm -hmm. and then. Um, He and I ended up being in a band together when we were teenagers. Really? Um, and he introduced me to loads of music. He was like an avid music lover. Um, you know, he bought me my, my first record um, and uh, took me to my first gig, which was the Fugazi show. Oh, really? When I was oh, super wow. young. And that, that kind of blew my mind um, and was probably, you know, a big part of why I wanted to play guitar and, you know, be in a band. Um, and then even like the, the band that I was in with my brother, like we, you know, we never really had any success or anything. We were just like kids that played music, and mm -hmm. but we, we played this um this small festival called Shell Shocked or Shore Shocked. Shore Shocked. I think it used to be called Shell Shocked, but it was a bit too because it was in the shell at, at <laughs> right. North, but it right. It's, it, it's, it's like this sensitive. You know? <laughs> it's like an all, yeah, it's an, all ages, <laughs> an annual all ages show which is held in the Lower North Shore, which is kind of around where we all grew up in Sydney. Which was mm -hmm. probably the first show I like, the first mush pit I was ever yeah, in. Yeah, was uh, it was like a little weird sort of that I watched his band play when I was it's about 10 years possible. old. It's very possible, but yeah, yeah. But so, so we won our battle of bands at our school, and then the the prize was to play at oh. this festival well, now called PTSD, yeah. post traumatic stress disorder. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah no, it's all semantics. Yeah, exactly. Um, yeah, um, and um, there's actually video of us playing. Like, I think I was like maybe 14 or 15 or something. Oh, and wow. there's there's like a proper. It's the first time playing like a proper crowd with oh. like a proper mosh pit. And I was wow. watching it with my uh, my friend who was also in the band Graham, and and we were watching it and going like one like once you've experienced that at that age, there's like it's 
there's kind of no turning back. Yeah. Like uh-huh. you, you can't uh-huh. Uh-huh. go back from that. And similarly, like Gab was in a band when when he was 15, playing to like you know massive crowds. And it's like once you've had that taste, yeah. And and it, like you know that the band I was in with my brother failed and ended, and then mm. I went on to do all these other things. But yeah. then kept, kept coming back to music after mm. trying all these other things like a did it's like a bug it's yeah. a bug man like yeah. this is that's totally like yeah it's like an itch you need to scratch constantly uh-huh. I tried I tried to be really responsible after school and did, did a year of law and then f- like failed at that and then, uh-huh. then did a film degree and got really into filmmaking and I think that's where I got my production chops up was mm. you know studying that sort of stuff but just kept coming back mm. to bands just mm. playing live music yeah. and, and making records yeah yeah I, 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 I understand that some what it, I mean, I understand it perfectly, but uh, for instance, in my case, I've had some experience playing bands and stuff like that. I do this, but like, I'm not, I don't consider myself a journalist really. I just speak to bands and artists and stuff like that. But uh, uh, yeah, it, the, w- the, the, the willingness to play music never really goes away, even though I'm not doing it currently. Yeah. I really want to do it always. Mm. It's, it's, yeah. it's, 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 it involves a lot of things, dude. It's, mm. it's once you're, because you, you guys have, I don't know how it is for you guys now but you guys have a successful band and you're doing this and, and there's a there's a commitment um, f- uh, like a, like a mutual commitment between you guys but getting that to start with is really really difficult to to get isn't it sometimes I don't know uh, so did, did, how, how do you mean uh, I mean because sometimes you know uh, do you pe- mean getting a project off the like ground yeah. committing to one project yeah. is what yeah. you're saying yeah. Yeah. committing yeah. to one project or committing well, to one thing well, well, I mean, uh, when when we started this, it wasn't that it wasn't like that. We didn't go, okay, we're all committing to this one uh-huh. thing now. It was it was like no, this is make or break. This was a side. Oh, it, yeah, was, no. it wasn't. It wasn't oh, like that. Oh, no. this was a side project to other things that that we were doing respectively. Really? Like, yeah, I, I was like doing a lot of film, like music for film work at the time and, and had like this sort of experimental side project while like Gab was writing songs with Jack and, and you know we we're all doing different things and then um, then Gab and I made Come Save Me and then we were still doing all these other things and we made another track which became The Throw and then we made another track and then like after a while we we're like oh this, this stuff that we're doing in our spare time is pretty good maybe we should fo- yeah. like focus on it for a moment and make a, a record uh-huh. you know and then we made a record and uh-huh. that that was howling uh-huh. Was so it wasn't fantastic. like it wasn't like you know we didn't like fucking write something in our blood and like yeah this you know mm. till the day we die <laughs> you're not yeah, men of war ourselves yeah. or anything like that yeah, yeah. it wasn't like that it was just like yeah. small parts yeah. formed a bigger piece of a, a of a bigger picture uh-huh. fantastic fantastic and uh, it's the same the first time you guys are playing Lisbon I guess because you played Pérez de Cura which is up north just oh, just, we, uh, we, have you played Lisbon because I don't remember I think we played didn't, just last time didn't we play just recently what, yeah, what yeah. was that uh, oh, it was, was the, the Nos, Nos Alive oh yeah it was yeah. it was, was, was of course of course yeah. of that course. was like yeah a few months ago a few which months was, ago yeah, which yeah, was great we actually we, we really like and this this is through no sense of being sick Fantastic or anything. We actually love Lisbon. It's oh. like it's beautiful. I mean, Jono's. You've spent some time here. This yeah, year yeah. I'm thinking of moving. With the intention. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Straight up. With the intention I to buy. I spent some time up uh, near Peniche. You yeah. know, Balial, and, and like obviously we're from Sydney, Australia. So mm-hmm. I grew up surfing, oh, and yeah. I was actually blown away with how good the surf was up on that coast. And I was like, it's Why insane. am I in London? Like when I could be, <laughs> when I could be here and surf, and you know, we've def- not- we've definitely got that like London thing now, where we like live in London. We just constantly think about how much Europe, the continent, is better. <laughs> everyone, everyone in London's always like, Oh, the weather's so good in France or Italy or. Spain or Portugal or whatever no. but you never do anything about it you still just live in London yeah. but yeah you're always like oh I'm gonna move one day learn to love yeah. complaining yeah <laughs> sure sure, sure. Exactly. sure. I, I, I don't remember I, this is a little bit of a disclaimer I'll probably edit this out or something edit this out but uh, um, usually I've been asking for interviews for with you guys for uh, not like uh, every uh, not, 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 not every no no, <laughs> no sometimes <laughs> things get lost in the mist really right. so so we don't so really normally say no to interviews on like like we don't go not no, yep, yep, yep. <laughs> no not him <laughs> not that guy 
<laughs> no, no, it's just because I've, I've asked. Uh, I've, when I say I've been asking, it means like every time I'm in the vicinity of the show that you're playing. So I played Nozzle Live. I was at Nozzle Live, but uh, and uh, Primavera two years uh, two years ago, a year ago, two years ago, uh, 2015, I think it was, yeah. and. Um, uh, so yeah, I've been meaning to do this for a while now. <laughs> yeah, for, uh, for instance, uncertainty was on my it was in my head for like years, and uh, played it I don't know a hundred times maybe <laughs> I don't know because it's just wow. one of those things like because you, your guys' your music is like um, tends itself lends itself to be played over and over again because it's yeah. very it's very very vibey I would say yes I guess yeah yeah very kind of get, get into the thing but um, so with every now and then uh, um, what happens it's like every now and then we put out a record or something I don't know what do you mean uh, with every now and then yes. what is every now and then what is every now and yeah, then yeah. Uh, every now and then is obviously a rec is one of the lyrics lifted out of Loose, loose ends, sure. which I don't know whether it really, I'm not going to pretend like there's some bigger meaning about it Okay. because I don't really think there is, uh -huh. but I, but, but I think we, you know, there is something kind of beautiful about the impermanence and permanence of life itself, mm. you know, sure. like, so I don't know, we kind of, we see our life like film, you know, frames, mm. like 35 mil, mm. but realistically it's all just in one big canister your whole life, you know, I think there's something interesting about that. And, and I think, and every now and then I think it was probably maybe, I mean, I'm just going to hazard a guess at like probably some reflection on the experiences that we've had in the last few years, okay. which have been really different, you know, it's compared to, you know, you sort of like, you live your life, you live your life, you live your life, and then all of a sudden you're playing in Glastonbury in front of like a bunch of people that you just didn't expect would care, uh -huh. and you live on the other side of the world and you play in a band and it's like, and it all just happened very quickly, uh -huh. you know, in a weird way. Uh -huh. It's funny you mention that because because uh, because um, uh, for instance, loose ends and slipping are probably my two favorite songs on the record, and uh, which is maybe why I keep falling, I guess, because I don't tie my shoelaces or something. <laughs> maybe there's a connection. I don't know. <laughs> they actually are. I'm just hey, thank you. <laughs> hey yo. No, but uh, they are actually are. I'm just. I'm, I'm just. <laughs> I was. Falling uh, is the name of a track as well. I'm yeah. sorry. Fall, was, that, yeah. was that implied? Yeah. Yeah. Right, yeah. Of course. Yeah, yeah, so. It's a, a, a whole uh, thing. And, uh, yeah, good. Yeah, thank I'm, you. I'm, I'm, I'm up to scratch for <laughs> everything that's happening. In the, in the, in the, yeah. 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 But yeah. But first, is, uh, is it uh, how are we supposed to pronounce it? Because it's uh, is it Obi Wan or is it Ob One? Ob one, ob one. <laughs> it should be ob one, ob one. Ob one. Immediately. That's very <laughs> Portuguese, I think, because of like obrigada. Yeah, <laughs> well, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah. yeah. immediately it's like, oh, it's Obi one. It's now, it's this now, thing. Now it's ob one. It, now it's ob one. Yeah, it's okay. ob one. Good. It's it official. Was, it was Obi one. Yeah, no. <laughs> We've changed you it. Changed you ob one. changed it. Yeah. Thank you. I would lo love to change our people's hearts. Update the Wikipedia to ob one. All the truth is on Wikipedia. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks for your time, guys. We got the the call. The two minute warning, so we're, we're cool, we're done. Done. Okay, it's 15 minutes. Okay. Do you, you want to keep talking shit? Keep talking oh, shit. I love talking shit. Yeah. This, is, uh, I'm, this is my career, is talking <laughs> shit. <laughs> no, it's, 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 it's a side project. No, this talking is, shit. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's actually your main project yeah, 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 initially. Yeah, this, is <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is what we like. Yeah. Uh, so th thanks, guys. Enjoy the show tonight. Okay, thanks, 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 man. Thank Cheers. You. Cheers. Thank you. Obrigado. Obrigado. Thank you.